Hi everyone, it's Shirley Anderson from Placement Partner and I wanted to chat to you about a new feature uh, that is now available on Placement Partner V8. So for those of you on it, I am hoping that you are just loving all the new features and benefits that Placement Partner V8 brings to you. We're going to just be tackling the, uh, one of the features today, which is Zoom integration. Oh my word, so helpful with all of us working remotely with more and more candidate interviews taking place um, on, um, online as well as our client meetings taking place online. It's a handy, handy tool to really be able to have integrations that keep us kind of in our system so that all of our contacts and our conversations are easily recorded within our um, in our system in the centralized place. So it keeps it really, really easy. And I know that most of your candidates will have access to Zoom as it's a free uh, platform or it's a free option as well as your clients. So it's a really, really diverse um, and popular um, online platform form to use for your meetings. Right. We're going to also look at how to set up your Zoom integration. So we're going to look at how do you connect a company Zoom account? And then the second option, allowing individuals to add their own Zoom, Zoom accounts. So depending on what works for you and your business, you may, for example, want a centralized Zoom account that everybody uses and kind of keep um, your conversations in a centralized space. However, that might not uh, work for you and you need several Zoom accounts attached to several different uh, user uh, systems, fantastic. You do have the option to do that, whatever works for you. I will have also take you through how to find the API keys and API secrets to get a placement partner talking to Zoom um, and vice versa. And then we'll look at how does it work um, when you actually want to go and set up those meetings so you don't have to leave placement partner at all. You can continue working how you want to work. So I'm just going to head over through to our system and first of all, show you how where to find this little lovely new Zoom button. So we're going to go into the company profile. We're going to go into interactions and there you will see this lovely little Zoom button over here. You can see over here that this is grayed out. Um, and that means that I actually haven't set up my Zoom integration yet. Where else will you find this? You will also find this in any candidate profile, also under the interactions tab, you will have this option as well. But now, as I've said, I am not integrated. How do I go about and do this? So your first option is as a super user to go and set up a centralized Zoom account for everybody to use. So the super user is going to head over through to your systems into uh, system maintenance and under the basic tab you will see over here you have the ability to go and add in your zoom api key as well as your zoom api secret and i'm going to show you where to find that a little bit later as soon as you've inserted these details as long as you have not selected for your users to be able to um, set up their own uh, system, that will, um, that will activate all system users to be able to um, use that little Zoom button. All right. But you can see that mine was still grayed out, even though I had these details in here. And that is because my super user has headed over into settings, they've gone into users, they've gone to find um, my name as the user, and they've actually allowed me, um, if you check under third party services, for me to set my own Zoom credentials. Had this been off, that button would have been available to me. All right, but my super user wants me to actually use my own Zoom account to set up my Zoom meetings. So we're gonna put that on again because now I'm going to show you how a general user would set up their Zoom credentials once they've been allowed to do this. So click update. And now I, as the uh, user or the consultant is going to go into my profile user settings. I'm going to head over to my own third, third party apps. This is where I've done all my integrations for my calendar, my email integration, which was quite simple. And I am going to go 
go and click on add Zoom credentials. All right. And over here, I've got the ability to go and add my own personal Zoom account. All right. So I'm going to go and find my API key. I'll show you how to generate these um, shortly, but let's just pop them in over here. So the key and then my API secret here. Pop that in and then email. All right, I'm going to go and save that. That is now saying ticked, all ready to go. So let's go into client search and let's see what we find over here. Ta-da! So now I can go and add a Zoom meeting. All right, so before I show you how to add a Zoom meeting, I want to show you how to actually go and find these API keys and API secrets, okay? Guys, what you want to go and do um, and check out your features guide, um, copy and paste this marketplace.zoom.us um, URL into your Chrome and it will take you to the marketplace where you can go and find this little app um, called JWT. All right. It's going to teach you how to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to generate your API um, key and secret. So you go create, you add your app name. You go and create that. All right, you're gonna go and add your company name. All right. You're going to go and add the developer contact information. Let's use that one for now. Um, let me open and go continue. All right. Perfect. Right, so you only need to put in the details that are necessary in order to set this all up. So now you can see I've got it all set up and here I have my API key to copy and my API secret to copy. So this was done on a, a different account because I had already done it on the account that I like to use um, on my Zoom account. Right, so now I am all set up. It really is that easy, hey? All right. I want to set up a meeting with my contact at this client best company to work for. I'm going to go and add, click on Zoom. I'm going to go and add the topic. And we're going to have a feedback meeting about this candidate, Morgan. All right, I'm going to set up when the meeting is actually going to take place. So let's say um, next week, Wednesday, and let's say at um, 9.30, get this, this uh, client up nice and early. And what is the meeting going to be about? So um, feedback. For example, we're going to set the reminder to take place at that same time, because of course, we want this to come up in our reminders so that we don't forget it. And we are going to go and save that meeting. All right, sorry. And remember to add your contact. So who do I want to speak to? I want to speak to Reese. I'm going to go and save that meeting. Right, now you can see it's actually created an interaction. And you've got a new little button over here, which you can now use to go and send that meeting out to Reese Michael Anderson at gmail.com um, so that he has the details for the meeting. Click that to send and off it goes. Um, and that will come directly from you. So perfect, easy, no issues. All right. However, I understand that this is all new for you guys. Um, and if you need extra support, I am going to remind you of the amazing team that we do have to support you at any given time. 
Guys, if you have any problems, any questions, our support team is there during the same working hours that you are working and they will be able to get onto your issues and help you. Um, you can just email support at parallel.co.za. Alternatively, of course, you've got your client management and trainings team. All right, so Tiki will be able to set training up if you need to. Natalie would be able to set a training up if you need to. Any of your account managers, Shirley, Adele in Cape Town, um, Lazan or Kathleen in Joburg, Eastern Cape. We're all about and everywhere available um, and we can take your calls. So we are looking forward to really enjoying uh, Placement Partner V8 uh, and really getting the most um, out of what we have to offer. All right, have a good day, bye.